Hey everyone, how's it going? Azrin here. I want to talk about something that I'm pretty passionate about, which is the amount of hours that are required to learn language. You know, often if, you, if you're someone who is well entrenched in, a, in, a, in the language learning space, often you'll hear people say things like, oh, I've been studying, you know, insert language here. I've been studying French for four years and I still can't speak very well. Or I've been studying Spanish for, for five years and I'm still all, you know, not all that great. Or in my experience, what's happening right now, I'm in China and I'll meet people who are like, oh, I've lived in China for, for, for two years and man, I, I'm, man, I'm just mediocre at the language. I'm not all that great. And then at first I used to wonder like, how could someone live in freaking China for two years and, 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 and just have a very mediocre level or have like a basic level? It just didn't make sense to me. Then I started to look under, under the hood a little bit and I started to kind of dig into it more and I kind of realized what's going on. I mean, in a lot, for a lot of people that are learning language, they're just not putting in enough hours. It has nothing to do with the fact that, oh, I've studied it for two years. Well, hold on. In those two years, in those three years, in those four years that you studied, how many hours a week did you actually study? Like, were you in class twice a week for, you know, two hours each time? Was it four hours a week? Well, if it was, that's just not enough, right? It's just not. Four hours a week is not enough to learn a language, especially, 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 especially if you break down those four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hours in a week and you spend seven of them reading a textbook in a classroom. Like if you spent nine hours a week and seven hours a week were on reading a textbook, well, hell, of course you can't speak very well. Of course you don't feel comfortable or fluent in the language because you didn't practice going out in the real world and like with real Chinese or French or Spanish or whatever speaking people. For me, with my experience of learning languages, for my experience of seeing people who successfully learn languages, you know, it, it can take 15 to 20 hours a week, you know, for years to be able to become fluent in a language. You know, you might need to spend three, four years of working 15 to 20 hours a week in that language and practicing that language to actually be, become fluent in the language. It's, it's a very simple equation. It's, you want to be good at something? Well, you got a certain baseline skill in, in that thing. So for example, maybe your baseline skill is really high, maybe your baseline skill is really low. Maybe, it come, maybe languages come naturally to you, maybe they don't. Me, I'm lucky, they come naturally to me. So I've got a higher baseline skill than most, but then you gotta put the hours in, you have to work, you have to study, you have to practice, you have to go through classes, you have to do all of that, right? It's, it's the work, it's the work that gets you there. It's the number of hours that you put in, right? And I get it, like if you're at a full-time job, you're a student, you're tired, like I get it, that's, that's I can respect that. It's, it's um, you know, it's probably the case for most people, but, Either way, you have to maximize the number of hours you can do, right? I mean, I'm on vacation right now. I'm in China. All of my roommates party on Friday nights and on, you know, they'll, they'll go out for dinner on a Thursday. They'll do that. They'll, they'll wake up late on Saturday and I have Chinese class on Saturday. This Saturday at uh, uh, 10 or is it 10 or 9.30, 9, 9.30 or maybe 10 a.m., one of the two, I can't remember, I've got a Chinese class. It's reality. Everyone, they're going to be sleeping. My roommates are going to be sleeping for crying out loud. They're going to be sleeping, I'm going to be working on Chinese. So I'm on vacation and working on my Chinese. And so that is the kind of choices you make, right? It's, there's no right or wrong choice, but you can't then go and say, oh, I wish I was better at Spanish or French or Chinese or Japanese or whatever you're learning. You can't go and say, oh, I wish I was better when you're putting in seven hours a week and you're choosing to go out on Friday night. Just can't do it. Just can't. So. Anyway, that's the end of this rant. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I could, I could go on to this topic forever and ever because I'm super passionate about it. But thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what your opinion is on this in the comments below, and I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.